What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Zamir from XSC Tunes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Macro Knob from Modulators. Um, if you haven't watched my previous video, please go ahead and watch that first because I explain quite a lot about Modulators in Cubase. All right. Um, this video is gonna be about Macro Knob and some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the past few hours. <laughs> and I wanna share it with you guys. So I don't want this video to be long, so let's get started. Uh, by the way, if this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, smash the like button, and share this video to all your friends and family and everybody you know. Thank you so much. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so I have this track I've already added to the project window and currently there's nothing on here, right? So if I want to modulate, okay, let's use the macro knob for this tutorial. Um, so macro knob is basically you have one knob to control a lot of different knobs right so this is the main knob right now right whatever I control here will be controlling all the other parameters that I've selected all right let me go ahead and add an instance of some plugin let me just use the baby audio comeback kit this is a delay and I want to adjust I want to use this macro knob to um, control both the feedback and time at the same time all right all right this is the macro knob so what I'm going to do I here is I'm going to click on this button, learn, feedback, okay, and then click on this button again, learn, time, okay. So now when I control this one knob here, it's going to control both the time and the feedback together simultaneously, alright. So if I want to change this one like that, I can do that. Another thing that you can do is you can have an opposite effect. So let's say you bring this down look at this the one below here and this one to the right this one to the left this one to the right so now when I bring the knob it's gonna go to a opposite opposite direction right so it's going opposite direction so if I want this one to go to left and this one go to right and whatever I do now here it's gonna be doing the same thing opposite direction right so here I have a, there's a lot of knobs that we can also control so that's one way of using macro knob. Okay, now I'm going to add another control here, LFO, for instance. And I'm going to maybe control a panning. Okay, so now the panning is here. And I'm going to click on this knob here. Okay, I'm going to add another knob. Click on learn. And I'm going to click on this learn. And I'm going to go ahead and maybe control the shape right now. Okay, so now I have three knobs three knobs that I can control with the macro knob isn't that cool right so you can see all these things happening here panning time feedback so this is an advanced level of modulation okay and it's really useful if you want to do crazy stuff with with your plugins and with your tracks okay so I'd like to apologize if you hear any noise in the background it's raining right now and I just want to get this video done so please forgive me if there's a lot of noise in the background okay here's uh, some of the tips that I'd like to share with you guys so let's say you have a couple of you know envelope shaper or some modulators happening you know and you want to bypass all of it at the same time right you don't want to be coming here and doing it one by one so what you can do is on your track whatever track that you have right now there's a button here where you can bypass all of them together right so just click on it and it's going to bypass all the modulators if you don't see this tab or this button right here you can just right click on this track go to where is it track control settings all right okay i have this audio track which i am right now i have this modulators instance eq sense already sent to the right window here right box here so if i want to have it appear here on this track I have to move it from the left to the right okay once that's done you can hit apply and also go and do it with all the other tracks that you have instrument sampler drums uh, I believe I have already moved it yeah so MIDI you can't do that with MIDI we, we don't have that option and uh, also in the group facts no we don't have that so that's it so just click hit apply and now you have this option to disable and enable the modulators with one button okay that's really useful 
Okay, another tip that I like to share is about this plugin here. So let's say you are on a plugin and you have a very limited space on your screen. For instance, let's say you're using a small screen, a laptop, and you want to save space. What you can do, you can actually go to the lower zone, disable the lower zone so you don't see any of the modulators here. And what you can do, you can, you can come here up to the plugin here. When you click on this button, it's going to show you the modulators. All right. So you can see this is a, these are the modulators that controlling. So let's say if you want to add another plugin, another modulation. So you can just click on this, add a modulator, let's say a shaper. And now you want to control the shaper with this swirl, right? Now you can do that. Okay. And then you can adjust them accordingly. Well, obviously, if you want to have a better control, you can use a lower zone. If you want to save space, you can do it this way. All right. And you can also come here and click on this to have more options. So now I can just double click here and play around with it. Change the curve and all that stuff. So this is really useful if you want to um, save space and when you have a small screen. Okay, once you're done with that, you can just close this window. All right. So another thing you can do if you want to space if you want to save space is let's say you're using a lower zone now and you can just click on this button now it's going to appear up here right so now you can close the lower zone and, and then you can just adjust the parameters you know open the midi the insert plugin and then now you can just um, test them like so I mean this is only if you don't have space on your screen okay it's just useful I like that Cubase giving us all this stuff that we can actually play with right uh, another cool thing you can do is that, for instance, you can actually add another instance of knob here, right? Maybe a uh, source. Yeah. So I have four knobs right here, okay? And remember, we can add eight, right? So when you click on this button, we have another four more box that we can fill in, right? So you still don't need to go to the lower zone to work with the modulators. Okay, now let's listen to all these parameters that I've changed so far. Okay, if let's say you want to modulate this knob, you can also do that, right? I'm going to go and let me add some LFO, okay? So this LFO now, it's going to control the macro knob. Now you can see, okay, this macro knob is currently controlling all these four parameters, right? All of it. But the LFO now, which is from the slot 5, is now controlling the macro knobs master knob you know what I mean so um, I can adjust them accordingly okay. now I want to do something even more fun so I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, a shaper as well again and this shaper is now gonna control the note here okay so uh, let's click on this plus button go to the note okay now you can see that it is actually going crazy at the moment of the crazy stuff that's happening right now <laughs> it's really fun guys to play with this but you gotta make sure that you know what you're doing right now so here are some of the tips and tricks that I've learned so far and I'll be making more video as usual please make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss any of my videos and uh, thank you all for all the comments, likes, and um, love that you guys are giving me. Thank you. And I really appreciate all the feedback, all the ideas that you guys have been giving me. And also the questions that you are giving me. So thank you so much because those questions help me. Right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have fun modulating. I'll see you guys in the next video.